Okay, so I'm out here in my front yard looking at this thing. I've got some baseline pids in there to try out. Ooh, let's get her in the air, see if it works. There's nothing. Armed. Idle up one. <laughs> it's working. Okay, well these pids are horrible, so. I gotta change that. Throttle idle. Throttle oh. hold. Disarmed. You turn that brake off. Armed. Idle up one. Throttle idle. Nope. Throttle hold. Disarmed. Definitely too high. All right, so I dropped basically everything by half and uh, dropped D even more. Seems like the micros need to have a really low D gain. Tail P is a little on the high side, but it flies. Collective. I'm going to increase my head speed a little bit in that flight mode because it's uh, it's just too low. Let's go with 4,900. Try that. Um, idle up one. There we go. Battery five per cent. Battery zero per cent. Nice. Throttle hold disarmed. <laughs> Well, it works. <laughs> As with the M2, it doesn't fly very well, but it flies. It took me a while to get the M2 tuned in, and I'm sure this one will be the same, but it does fly. So that's pretty sick. I'm not gonna bore you with the tuning process, but I will be showing you as I progress to higher head speeds, uh, as I begin to trust it more. And uh, 
get it tuned in and start flying this thing. All right, I've got a pretty decent setup on it now. Uh, not perfect, but much better than it was. So I'm gonna do a quick fly out here this morning and show you what I've got. I've also changed my head speeds a little bit. It's got 5,200, 6,000, and 6,200. So that's 5,200. Idle up two, idle up three. That's B sixty two. Yeah, not too bad at all. Battery zero percent. Throttle idle, throttle hold, disarmed. It's pretty nice having a uh, milliamp telemetry on this. So yeah, it ain't doing too bad at all. I'm uh still have a little bit of work to do on the tune, but it's much better than it was. I'm having like a little bit of tail blow out and I don't know if that's just rotor flight or if that's just what it's doing. So we'll see. Figured I'd go ahead and check my black box. So this is from that last flight. We've got uh, gyros at the top, gyros pre-filter under it. You can see there the filters are doing a good job. I also put my BEC voltage, which is just the five volt rail and uh, seems stable. Doesn't drop or rise very much, just five volts. So the uh, BEC on the ESC board seems up to the task, that's good. No issues there. And looking at my motors here. I am seeing the tail motor go up to 100% throttle quite frequently. That's useful information. Just for the sake of experimentation, 
I uh, took one of my two inch loop props and uh, drilled out the center with a pin vise. I believe it was two millimeter and uh, put that on there. It is a 2023R from Amazon. Gem fan, I think. I'm gonna try this out and see if it's any better. All right, well, it's uh, kind of windy, but I'm gonna try this new tail prop out. Hopefully that wind noise isn't too annoying. All right, let's see what happens. Armed, idle up one. Idle up two, idle up three. God, it's windy. Maybe it increase my rates a little bit. I used basically the same rates as my bigger helis, but this is not a bigger heli, so. Oh, that's much better. Definitely a decent improvement on the tail. It's not blowing out anymore. So I uh, changed my cyclic pids a little bit more. I'm at like basically zero D gain it feels like. Uh, seems to be a trend with the micros. And yeah, it's even better. I dropped it to uh, 2P or 2D on roll and 4D on pit. You can still get it to blow out a little bit, but it's definitely better than the stock prop. And much quieter too. Oh, 
Oh, it's way too windy for this. Battery 0%. 